Let's get more now from Mark Perry. He's an author who specializes in military and foreign affairs analysis. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Now, just 10 days ago, we saw a rocket attack on Tel Aviv. It's the first targeting that city since 2014. Now we've got the strikes today. Why the sudden uptick in violence in that region? I think for uh, purely political reasons, there certainly uh, aren't any military reasons for this. Mr. Netanyahu is facing a re-election campaign, so it's in his interest to act tough towards Hamas. It's almost uh, a part of his uh, political platform. Uh, he's visiting the United States, and he wants to prove to uh, the Republican and evangelical base here and Trump's base that he can be tough on Hamas, that he can join us on the war on terrorism. Uh, and I think that uh, it also sends a signal to Hamas uh, that they need to control their uh, rocket launches. There, there does seem to have been uh, somewhat of a of a strike on, on Israel uh, several days ago that probably did not come from Hamas. So this is a lot of signaling. But I think mostly this is a political move on the part of the Israelis, on the part of Mr. Netanyahu, uh, to, signal, to signal his strong support here in America and to build uh, his and Mr. Trump's base here in the United States. So, Benjamin Netanyahu, just a few hours ago, he did say Israel will, and I quote, respond forcefully. What can we expect to see play out in the next few hours, possibly even over the next few days? We're hearing that Hamas's leadership has gone underground. Um, are they likely to, to retaliate or rather try to call a ceasefire? Well, I think they're going to remain silent. My uh, sense is that they're not uh, interested in a full-blown conflict with Israel at the present time. They're not in a position to conduct uh, such an attack, a broad-based attack. And I think it's probably in Israel's interest also that uh, the current situation be dampened. So I think that what we're going to see is Hamas will remain silent about these attacks. They'll condemn them. But there won't be a response, and Israel will take this as a wink and a nod that maybe they won't go forward. That's the way it's been for the last year or so, back and forth and back and forth. And I imagine that that would continue. Of course, it's not, a, it's not an optimal um, result for Hamas. They want an end to the siege. Uh, they want uh, the killings along their fence line to cease. And they have to prove that they can provide economic growth for their people in Gaza. That hasn't happened so far. So I think that uh, we're going to see an attempt on the part of Hamas to, to look for a way out of this. Israel will probably remain intransigent on it, as they always have. Okay, lots to look out for there in the next few hours. Thanks so much, Mark Perry, live to us there from New Orleans.